Welcome to Angry Lakers Fan Media. This is Angry Lakers Fan greeting you. If you hype for the ride, like and subscribe. If you hating the content, just hating the comments. Now, today's topic is about, is LeBron on a trade block? Now, what we saw from the Lakers against the Boston Celtics was very, very beautiful basketball. You saw guys like Reeves step up. And, and side note, every time Reeves scored 30-plus, we win. So, of all time since he's been a Laker, the Lakers are 3-0. When Austin Reeves scored 30 plus. So let's just get that out the way. D'Angelo Russell looked like a leader out there. Uh, he took over. He had 14 assists, 16 points, and I believe eight rebounds. We've seen the emergence of Jackson Hayes, one of the guys I wanted to step up, um, even while Anthony Davis was healthy, you know, just step up, do he do? I kept giving, I kept criticizing Jackson Hayes. He's so young and athletic that he's capable of having the type of game he had against the Boston Celtics. LeBron James should be on the trade block. LeBron James should be on the trade block. Uh, look, this game without LeBron James, the coaching was better. The ball movement was better. Everybody looked happier. The, it, the game was fun to watch. I ain't watched a fun Lakers game in a long time, y'all. And I said this before in one of my lives, in one of my videos. I was like, coaching... Even coaching, everybody gets on Darvin Ham, including myself, including coaching will be better once LeBron James is gone or once LeBron James is out of here. And you see Darvin Ham, with no stress, made smarter adjustments, um, challenged the play that was needed to be challenged. He, uh, the lineups were great, all that. And I don't want to hear nothing about, Oh, uh, Boston Celtics didn't show up because they didn't take us seriously. You both to take us seriously. We're the Lakers. You're the Boston Celtics. If you know, if you know anything about that storied robbery, you should have took us seriously. That's not our fault that y'all didn't take the game seriously. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear. Oh, it was just one game. Uh, you you getting happy over one game? Yeah, I am. Because as a Laker fan, it's always great. To beat the Boston Celtics. I don't care if it's in L.A. I don't care if it's in Boston. It's always great to beat the Boston Celtics. Now, let's get to the topic at hand. LeBron James should be traded. LeBron James should be in the office right now discussing uh, a trade destination with Rob Palenka. Um, If I was Rob Palenka, I wouldn't really care, you know, where he wants to go. I would be thinking about the team. I would be sending him anywhere where I would get the most value for him back. Because you don't want to be like the Memphis, not the Memphis. You don't want to be like the Miami Heat. You don't want to be like the Cleveland Cavaliers where he just uh, fulfilled his contract and walked out. This dude has been so diva-like since he's been a Laker for the most part. Been trading every team every goddamn year. He wants everything the way he wants it. And even when he get everything he wants, He's still not satisfied. Get this diva out of here. He's going to he's going to do all he can to mess up this franchise. He's going to opt out of his contract and walk away for nothing, which is still fine with me because we do. We got a lot of these dudes um, past this year that's on contract. So I'm not I'm not tripping. We can use that money that he opt out of and bring in some other people. But if you don't want to worry about that. Just trade him away, you know, trade him away for us, us you know, some, some solid pieces of some draft picks. You know, whoever can provide us with that, do that. I'm, I'm all for it. 